Hey, what's up everyone? Bubble Kings here and welcome back to some more Duelist. Let's head into the season rank ladder here. So we played pretty much every race besides the Shanghai. So I made a Shanghai deck that let's gonna try out here. So the Shanghai were nerfed in the last patch if I remember. So this might not go too well. But let's see how it goes anyway. So we're second, so we're gonna have three mana. So we wanna keep this guy. Um, I know this card's really good, but I don't know if we want to hold on to it. I think this is actually a pretty decent hand, so we might hold on to everything we have here. I don't see a real reason to get rid of anything here at the moment. If I was going to get rid of something, I might get rid of this, but... If you can get all three of them in your hand, you can get like a really strong combo, so... It might be pretty good just to hold on to it. We'll see. So, most likely we're going to play this on turn 1. Which I think is a pretty good drop. 4-3. Not many um 2 drops would beat that. But, we have to watch out if he plays some really cheap guys and just... No, he didn't play anything. Okay. That's good. I was worried about him playing um a 1-mana minion. And just killing it off with his hero. But he didn't, so that's fine. So we got two of them at the moment, which is nice. That means we should be able to get some nice burst damage off. We also got one of our range people. So we can stick him in the corner and start shooting people down. Let's see how this goes, though. I think this exhaust is really good with the range, though, because they don't take damage. Same with backstab. But we don't have the backstab minion yet. So we either save it for the range guy here. Or we'll save it for the backstab guy. So we summon a minion on the mana. You see? Let's see what type of deck he's playing. Whenever you, your opponent summons a minion, gain plus one, plus one. Okay. Well, I think we can just take that out with our free mana guy here. Before we summon anything, and we should be fine. Yeah, I think that might have been a bit of a bad play by him there. I don't think there's any real advantage to uh, playing that minion. But, okay, that's fine with me. So we'll run over here, swing into this guy. Uh, hmm. We'll summon our archer here, and then we'll walk forward and hit him. I think we want to start getting him a bit low. Because we have a lot of burst potential here at the moment. We got Killing Edge, which is really nice. That works really well with the range character there. We can buff it, then uh, use Inner Focus on it twice. To get it 14? It should be 21 damage if we use on it twice. Um, use it on the Fire Spitter twice. We'll see how this goes. He's gonna summon a swarm. He's trying to get next to the archer, I guess. Or just surround me. Okay. I think if it if it works like it used to, this inner focus thing, we should have lethal here. Um, let's try it. So we go like this, we shoot, then we use this on it. Why is it not a valid target? Oh, it has that free or loss attack. Whoops. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go like this then. We can kill off... So this will summon a 2-2. Two -two, which is good. We can send this over here. To do this. Hmm. Uh, let's go summon. We don't need to deal any more damage to him. Because we know he's going to... Yeah, we don't need to deal damage to him because we're going to be able to kill him off with the archer here. Let's go pull one of these back in the deck, maybe? Hmm. Or should we use one on this guy here? Have we... We already attacked with our hero. So we could use it on the 2-2 two -two to take care of that, but I don't think we need to, do we? Like, it's impossible for him to get through. He would need a charge minion. 
Hmm. He might have one. Destroy an enemy. Okay. That's fine. Well, we can get some nice damage off with uh, this guy and the inner focus when we get close enough. And if we get the one where every time we use a spell, we deal one damage to the enemy hero, that will take care of him as well. I think we're going to put this back in the deck because we don't have any spells that cost mana at the moment. Um, okay, so we'll go... Hmm. We'll go over here. Take this out. Take... Hmm, take this out, move over here, take this one out, then we'll summon the, the taunt guy, the provoke, and then, does it work like this? Go like this, go like this, and one more time, and we have lethal. It should be, yeah. Yeah, that spell's really good. Did they have a cap on it before? I can't remember. But that went pretty well. Hey, first one of the day, two wins, yay. <laughs> um, okay, let's do another one. That's pretty quick. I think um that three mana buff spell's really good. Especially if you can get on a range like that. Or if we have the backstab guy. Um, we don't need Saber Seal. Not yet anyway. And we'll get rid of this one here. What do we get? I think we've got another. Oh, we got the Mr. Dragon Seal. So that's not too bad. We kind of need a minion though that we can play. So, maybe... Hmm. Maybe we'll put this back in the deck and see if we get a card. No, we didn't. Okay, that's not good. So we didn't draw anything. But we did get a Kato Assassin on that this turn. Okay. That's not too bad. So we can use it and then use him in a focus on it if we want to get some damage on him. Or we can just wait. Hmm, let's see what we're gonna do here. We got a range guy we can summon, or we can use the person over here. Hmm. What if we go like this? And we'll take out this guy here. Let's you got some good early ball control. Um, whoops. Oh yeah, he summons the second version of it, doesn't he? Yeah. We probably should have silenced the first. <laughs> that was a mistake. Hmm. We might be in a bit of trouble here. I totally forgot about his death wish. Okay. Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble. I think if we um, run straight at him, we might be able to scrape off a win here. It's going to be close though. So let's go over here. And we'll kill off this guy here. And so allow us to summon a person over here to backstab with. And then we'll go for this hero. Okay. We got a taunt, which is nice. Hmm. It's gonna be close though. So we can backstab the next turn. If we buff, we can get to seven damage. Plus the one from the backstab, which is eight. It'll take a while to get full in there. Or you can just kill off my guy. Hmm. If we play the provoke and Taunt that up, maybe? I think we might need to silence this guy off here. To get rid of him. So let's go silence this one off. And that should put him on one. 
We'll put that there. Then we can put the taunt here. And that should be good. Hmm. Okay, so he's probably going to walk this forward to take care of the taunt. With his general and 4-4 uh, there. What can we do? We, can get, we have Phoenix Fighters, 3 damage. Oh, he just got lethal. <laughs> I didn't think he would have that much damage. Well, that was a, just a series of mistakes. Holy crap. That was just really bad. Okay, let's play one more. Because there's just like mistake after mistake by me. Not reading the card text. <laughs> um, okay, so this is a good hand. We can play this on the first turn. And then next turn we can play a range minion, which is really strong. Hmm. He's got a grow guy, does he? It looked like he wanted to place it behind him. No, he doesn't. Okay. That's fine. Kind of bad for us, actually, because... We'll be able to trade it for the free drop here. But that's fine. We can live with that. He'll have to use his hero as well. So he'll take a fair amount of damage. Round 6, I think it is. If he starts summoning Grows, we have to get on him ASAP. It doesn't look like he is at the moment. Doesn't have him drawn yet. Ah, uh, Swan Avenger. But we have Phoenix Fire here, so we don't have to really worry about it. So we can go like this. Hmm, how do we, where do we want to put this guy? So we know this person's going to walk over here. And take out the healing mystic. And then we're gonna summon the blood tear? What why did it Oh yeah. It's uh <laughs> passive killed off. So that's kinda lucky actually. That means we can play the range guy here. Do we want to? I think I really wanna play the Phoenix Fire. So I might play uh the backstab guy here. We're gonna move this forward. We'll kill him off with Phoenix Fire. And then we'll play the backstab guy um, here. That way you can't get to him. At least not on this turn. And we can wait for the teleport skill and get behind him and stab him. Four attack. That's not too good. We can get rid of one stack with the ping here and another with the Phoenix Fire. So I think we might do that. To get rid of some of his stack. Um, should we use Phoenix Fire on it as well? Why not? Let's just get rid of some of his stacks there. Let's put a uh, let's put this range person back in the deck. And we'll go with a torn, okay. Hmm. So we don't want him coming straight for our sword guy yet. Or do we? If he goes for it, we can kill him next turn, I think, anyway. If he attacks her. He'll be on 12. And we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Plus this will be on 15. So if we move him here, he will have to attack it before he moves. And then we should have lethal next turn. See how this goes here. So I assume he's going to take out this guy. Probably move down here. Yeah, he's probably going to move down here and then take out this guy. And try and build a wall, maybe? That wouldn't seem like too bad of an idea. It looks like he's uh, struggling to find an answer there. Which is pretty good for us. He's going to run, is he? Okay. Well, we got a taunt, so we can stop him from running for a bit here. 
Oh, we got unlucky there. We could have taken out the alchemist again. But we didn't. Okay. So, what's the plan here? Let's get rid of this archer. Oh, do we have lethal? I think we might be really close to lethal. We'll trade this in. So, 6, 9, 10, 11 to it. Oh. Well, we do have lethal. Yeah. We'll play the taunt. And then we go give this this. And then we go into here. Yeah, we do have it. Cool. That was pretty close, actually. I think we just had a good burst combo there at the end, though. It seems like the Shanghai games are much faster than any other class. Like, either you get a really good snowball, or they get a really good snowball. So that's kind of interesting. They're pretty fun. Um, I didn't actually get to play the teleport spell, which was really strong. The plus one, plus one. And you can teleport anyone on the board. Because you can use that on the backstab guy and just instantly pop up behind him and get a free, um, free damage off. But oh well. We'll maybe come back to that, because that was kind of fun. Even though they've been nerfed. I still think they're really strong, even after the nerf, so... That's good. It's at least they didn't nerf him to the ground and, like, ruin the whole class. Oh well. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.